Hello my wonderful people and welcome back to another Life Without a Manual Clean With Me today. I uh, hope you're all doing okay. I hope you're cleaning along with me today and this is going to give you a bit of motivation um, to do your house and to get things done. So let's get it done together. I would be the first person to tell you it was disgusting on so many levels. I mean, I hoover on a daily basis. That is no word of a lie. And you will see the amount of rubbish I still got off of the carpet and the floors uh, with my shark vacuum. It was awful. And I um, also did the um, window frames in my bedroom and it was disgusting. I'm so embarrassed. I cannot believe I'm actually gonna put this online, but what the hell you know it's, it was clean after it got finished but I definitely need to write that into my to-do list to do on a monthly basis so at the moment we're in the front room we are just straightening out the throws because I don't know what it is about these throws but I actually need to get some that properly fit my sofa um, we put them up because of the dog um, and the kids you know and I'm just spot checking at the moment on the uh, throws to what you know marks and stuff like that. But um, so I actually did have a couple of throws that I got from, I think it was Dunelm. Um, I had to beg my husband um, to get these because I've already explained in past videos what I'm like with throws. I'll link that video down below. But um, I actually washed them because I got marks on them and then I stuck them in the tumble dryer and I shrunk both of them um, and that was that so we now use them as blankets instead of throws but um, Ollie's actually laying on one of them now so I'm just changing them over to the big throws um, to make sure it covers it correctly this was harder work than what it seems. It seems like the kids had trampled in something. I'm not actually sure what it was. So I got a e-cloth, um, which is the tougher microfiber one, and used it to get it off. And to be fair, it came off straight away, and then I straight away chucked that cloth in the wash. Um, I've also found loads of marks on my new pillows. So, oh, sorry, it's a bit blurry, the camera wasn't focusing. So I'm gonna just get them off with some window clean. Now, I know it's a bit weird getting it off with window clean, but I have done loads of research in this uh, from other YouTubers, and this is perfect, especially for getting marks off of your sofa. Window clean is um, vinegar based, and it is amazing for getting rid of uh, marks on your sofa or pillows. So that is just a little hack for you there. Here you'll see little Chloe decided to give me a hand cleaning so she got a little feather duster and was going around wiping things. It was clean so she wasn't spreading the dust about but yeah I thought it was so cute and I wanted to get her on film trying to help me clean. She loves being on videos and you know making herself known to everybody so I wanted to just grab a picture of her quickly.
here I'm just cleaning my sink now I do do this on a daily basis but I just wanted to give you a little hack to um, let you know how to get it smelling great um, I'm not actually going to do it here because I usually do it of an evening but if you get some uh, white vinegar um, and some uh, baking soda put the baking soda down the sink um, say about a cup and a half full two cups full and then clean the sink as normal you know you can put a little bit of detergent around the outside of it give it a good scrub and then pour white vinegar through the top of the uh, plug hole where the baking soda is and it will clean your pipes right the way through make them smell great and give you a good clean down your pipes and it is great to keep your sink lovely and clean with the rest of the sink I just use a fairy liquid and just give it a good scrub all round if I need to just give it a quick scrub during the day as I say I do do this of an evening um, as well but it comes up looking fantastic you'll also see me in a minute get some essential oils I usually use a baby powder essential oil or jasmine or you can use uh, orange essential oil and it really does bring it up smelling fantastic um, and it, it stays there for ages especially after using the baking soda and the white vinegar I'm putting this on YouTube but this was the most disgusting window frame I'd ever seen in my entire life I am absolutely petrified of spiders but it looked like an entire family of spiders had crawled in and decided to have a party on my window ledge while flattening each other at the same time it was disgusting while I'm doing this I actually realized that the, all the side and above my head was 
matted to my blinds. So they had gone across from the window frame to my blinds and just decided to have a good old three bedroom house above my window. So I got the uh, toothbrush and decided to start scrubbing that. Um, it was absolutely disgusting and you could see by the state of the brush and my cloth that it was in a right state. So um, enjoy.
A big thank you for watching our video today. It was uh, great to show you what um, I do on a day-to-day -day basis. It is hard, it's not easy um, with two children and I think you're all doing an amazing job. I really do. And if you were cleaning along with me today, thank you for doing that as well. I hope you got the motivation you needed. Please check out my other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.